Hi, my name is Keith Nicolite, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Cypress Semiconductor, and today I'm going to walk you through an example project for an op-amp on PSOC 5 LP. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up PSOC Creator 3.1. I can open up my example projects by going to File, Example Project. I know that I want to look up an example project for an op-amp, so I can type in op-amp here. We've got this op-amp example. I can create a new workspace, throw it on my desktop so I know where it is. And now we've got a project. Whenever you open an example project, this uh, data sheet pops up. It'll tell you how to configure your kit, all the different settings and the components, which is what we're going to walk through today. Here's our schematic for PSOC Creator. This is how we drag in all of our components and our hardware and where we make our connections. So this is a pretty straightforward project. Uh, we have our op amp. We're going to make this a non-inverting gain amplifier. We have a little note down here in case you forgot what a non-inverting gain will do. It'll give us 1 plus RF over R1 um, gain. And we're going to input a voltage from our VDAC. So just so that we know what we're inputting here, we're inputting 496 millivolts from this VDAC. And we'll get out about 1 plus that, so about a gain of 2 since I'm going to use the same value for RF and R1. And then we're going to display just a little message on the LCD. So I'll go over my code here. So for every PSOC creator component, there's going to be a start function. And what that function is going to do is it's going to load the configuration values that we just saw in the schematic into the appropriate registers and kick off that component. So we start our LCD. We clear the display. This is where the magic really happens in this project. We have our op amp one start. So that's going to start the op amp. And that's what's going to allow us to get that gain. We then start our VDAC, which is going to put that voltage on the, on the input of the op amp. Uh, and then we set our power. We set this one to high power. That's just to give us the best performance. Each op amp comes with a range of power settings. So I opened it from the example projects just out of the box. And it's actually set for PSOC 3. And since we're using PSOC 5, we're going to go to this device selector. You can come over here to family, right click, set default device, and we're going to set it to PSOC 5 LP. And this will automatically choose the appropriate part for the kit. So now I can build and program. You can see our generated source files pop up over here. You can see we have our op amp one and VDAC one. So that's based on the components we have in the schematic. All right, so now we've got this. This is our resistor feedback. So if you go back to here, uh, this is connected across these two pins in a non-inverting configuration. And so I'm going to turn on my multimeter here. And we can see on this side, uh, there's our 490 odd millivolts that we were inputting from the VDAC. And we can see on this side, uh, that that's multiplied by a gain of 2, so for giving us just about a volt. So now, uh, what if we want to have a variable voltage on that input? We can go back to our screen here. Instead of just putting in a single voltage from the VDAC, I'm going to remove this, and I'm actually going to put in a pin. I'm going to have this be an analog pin. I'm going to connect it up here. I'll open this guy up just to show you what's inside our configuration here. We have an analog pin. It's in high impedance analog uh, drive mode. So it's going to take an input voltage. I'm going to come over here to our design-wide resources. And I'm going to set this pin, uh, let's say, let's set this to P07. I'm going to build this project. So I need to make one other connection here. So I'm going to take the output of this potentiometer, which is from VR over here. And we're going to put it into the pin that I just put on the schematic, which I set to be P07. And now we don't have a VDAC anymore, so we don't have to start the VDAC. So comment that out and build the project. And program this guy. And now I'm just going to look at, so we can look at the input here. So as I move this potentiometer, you can see the, the voltage moving there. And if I look on the output, this is two times that input. So let's stick this at a volt. So then I expect we have about a half a volt on my input, which is what we've got. Um, so now we've got our non-inverting uh, operational amplifier up and running. And if you want more information, go to cypress.com.